In this video, I'd like to discuss the printing offset digital options. If we are in control, <clears throat> looking at an offset or digital product, when we ventured in the print type after we've set up our print job, please refer to the other videos on that function. At the bottom, you'll see all options. We've discussed the bindery and folding already in the offset bindery video. So in this video, we'll just go through and discuss the other options that are available. The first one is brokered service. This is just to anything that you're purchasing third party. You can give it a name. Uh, I don't know, charts or something we're adding that we ordered, the quantity, the unit cost each, the markup that we're doing, unit price, the additional price, vendor, there is one, and their vendor information. You can always overwrite these prices. These are really just for anything that you're not producing in-house. Next thing, we have die cut. This is similar to die cut to the other products in the system where you're choosing your die, your press, number of impressions, die charges, and the supplier of that die if you don't create it yourself. Next is the digital cover. In this case, if I was doing a booklet, an offset booklet, and I wanted to print the cover digitally, I can do that in this situation where I'm using 10,000 originals, digital press, paper type, and paper. This allows you to print out all the pages that you would need for a digital cover. We'll say it's two. This will allow us to print out the cover for this particular item. Again, it's two out of eleven and a half by seventeen. The digital cover, we have digital overprint. This is similar to a digital cover other than we're adding the material for digital cover. In overprint, what we're saying is after it comes off the press, we're going to then refeed it into a digital printer to generally overprint that product, such as with names, variable data, etc. Next option is finished goods inventory. This will allow us to add these to inventory. And this is to purchase, sell later as a pre-component item. If you're going to print 10,000 of something and put them on the shelf and then print them and then sell them one at a time, you could print them in this product, adding them back into inventory. And you'd want to know the category that you're putting it in. And then in this case, you would say new inventory part to create a new one. There is videos on adding to finished goods inventory, uh, specifically in the system, in the training. Next we have folding, which we've discussed as part of bindery. Lamination works similar to the lamination throughout the system, where you're choosing your type of laminate, whether it's a front and back laminate, and then across. Currently, this is 51 inch material. I'm doing uh, 8.5 by 11s. I could be laminating them as the 12 by 18s if I'd like. And if I'm going to lay them across, I can either load the machine one at a time or say that I'm loading the machine at a certain quantity across. And that again will utilize less material because it knows you're loading them across the 51 inch wide material. Next action is miscellaneous. Similar to an outsource item, where an outsource is something you're purchasing from someone else, 
This is for any miscellaneous item that is not covered under other parts products in the system. If you needed to add some custom work to this or some extra items, they can be done in here. Just type in what it is, quantity, unit cost, markup, and price. Next option is offset cover. Similar to the digital cover, but in this case we're going to print the item up on top and then we're going to use a second machine or a second different material for the cover. This would be an offset cover and you'll notice it works similar to the product above where you can choose a print type, in this case I'll choose a cover, put in your quantity, paper, materials, more coatings, the details for the cover will open up a screen that looks very similar to the one up at the top with your press details and cutter details. Next is packaging. This is to box up the items. If I need to box these, I can tell it I need three boxes of a certain kind and a certain size. And again, this is a listing of your materials and boxes that you carry. If there's any additional material like shrink wrap, bubble wrap, etc., we can add that as well. Our next option under packaging is pre press. Pre press is similar to a design option. We have the file name, file type, received, return via. The main things here are the number of time, setup time, creative design time, and layout time that you want to charge for. And we have an option for standard processes. If you have a standard process that runs through your prepress, and it could be something like rip, trap, and impose color, or impose from PDF, these can be given their own values where you can tell it how long they take to set up and how much per piece and just enter a quantity and it will come up with those values. Next is shrink wrap. If we're shrink wrapping this material, we have the machine, the actual film, how many pages per wrap, and then total wraps. And that includes all the options within the printing offset digital product. Please refer to both the bindery video as well as the printing offset digital video for further information or contact Sirius Implementation Department if you have any additional questions. Thank you.